All right, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and today we are going to be checking out the latest game from Neocraft called Chronicle of Infinity. Now, uh, I haven't had a chance to play this game yet, but based on the opening intro, this animation here, I'm getting some Final Fantasy vibes or something like that. And I don't know if the gameplay is going to be similar to those games, but this looks very promising. Now, I do want to let you guys know that this is a sponsored video, but as always, I'm not going to let that affect my opinions or what I say here. I'm basically just going to play it and tell it like it is, and hopefully it's just a great game. So with that said, we're going to jump right in here and start Chronicle of Infinity. So we're connecting to the server here, and... Uh, we got some classes. Okay, so we can start either as a Phantom, a Dragoon, or a Arcania. And it looks kind of like the characters we saw in the intro. There's like a warrior kind of guy. There's like a, like a, I don't know, ninja kind of guy. And also this girl who's more like a mage, I believe. So, I don't really know, to be honest. Um... I like this guy because of the samurai sword. You guys know I love samurai, so I might go with him, but he also looks really cool too. And she looks dope as well, so it's it's a pretty tough choice, guys. Um, Let me read the descriptions. Okay, so for the phantom, agile phantom swordsman deals fatal burst damage to enemies. Okay, and then for dragoon, it's heavily armored dragon rider. Dragon Rider controls enemies within a range. And then Arcania is Mysterious Astral Sorcerer deals range damage over time. Okay, so obviously she's ranged. She is the mage character. This guy is kind of like mid-range, maybe. And then he's more melee combat. Um, I'm a melee guy, so I'm gonna go with this guy, the Phantom. Create. And we have some customization for the uh, characters themselves as well. So this looks like the base. We already have a lot of options. We could also go for different hairstyles if we want. Uh, different eyebrow shapes, different eyes, nose, mouth, and ears. So tons of customization. Very similar to a lot of the AAA RPGs you see out there, right? Like Elden Ring, for example. You get so many customization options to make your character look like whatever you want it to look like. So for me personally... Um, I could spend forever, honestly, doing this. I'll give you guys a quick look at some of the different options for, like, hairstyles and stuff. But I'm probably, for this video, just going to go with a preset. Okay, so, yeah, lots of different hairstyles. Whatever suits your mood. But let's go for... Uh, this guy, maybe? Or... Hmm... I kind of like this guy with the scars on his face. Or maybe this dude right here. Let's go for green hair. Because I'm playing as Zoro in Elden Ring right now. And I want to be Zoro in this game too. So we are going to be Zoro, basically. Kind of. With the green hair. Next. And for the name, you know what? I'm going to just go for... Roro... Noah... Zoro. Okay, there we go. Enter. Perfect. Okay, so our character is ready. This is the last and... of the universe, Astropolis. We need you to protect our home world. Okay, so we got Amy who says we are in Astropolis. Tap on the quest tab and claim quest from Magnus the Sage. We gotta go to Magnus the Sage, okay. Uh, how come you're back alone? Where's Leon the Astral King? Is he... Alas, since the beheading operation failed, we need to deal with what's at hand. The enemy is not... Okay, you know what? I'll worry about this later. <laughs> I'm sure you guys just want to see the gameplay. So, I'm gonna skip the dialogue for the time being. Rewards now. Claim. Okay. Change. Awesome weapon. Okay, so we can equip our new weapon now. Cool. 
as dope. So we got our samurai swords. Nice. Okay, so it seems like it's very easy to complete quests in this game. Um, you really don't have to like manually go anywhere. You can literally just click on the next phase of the quest, and then your character will just automatically go to that you know area. Kind of like um, what was the last game I played like this? Uh, the Strongest Hero, My Hero Academia. The Strongest Hero was very similar. You know, it was like a big city, but you don't have to worry about navigating it too much. You can just click on the quest, and you'll automatically just run there. Okay, so now we're talking to Elmira, the Star Guardian. Okay. Battle plan. Flame. Plague of Decay. That seems to be the first chapter in the story mode. Now what I'm really interested in checking out is the Battle Royale mode. From what I've been told, you can fight with up to 300, 300 players at once. Uh, stage one, and we are fighting these Firehorn demon things. All right, challenge. Let's get it. Drag to move your character. Drag to move my character. Okay, drag the character, and then you attack with the sword button. Okay. Took out those guys with no issues. You know what this actually kind of reminds me of? It's like a mobile version of, um... What do you call it? Uh, what's that game? I'm trying to think right now. I can't remember the name. Okay, forget it. Maybe you guys know what I'm talking about. It was like a game that was recently available for free on PS Plus. And, uh... It's like a really nice looking RPG with uh, really smooth combat kind of like this game you know um, but yeah I can't really say what it, what, what it is the point is this game looks really good for a mobile game like the graphics are top-notch on my phone screen it's super crisp it's very crisp so that is definitely a big plus a huge plus and that was the first stage really took care of the boss with no issues I'm assuming that in the future we will definitely face some much harder bosses but for the time being we're just learning the mechanics of the game and uh, it seems pretty straightforward so far uh Gomar the god of war okay so these are other players, I'm assuming, and the little, like, cross sword icon usually means PvP, right? So, does that mean they're engaging in PvP right now, or can we challenge them to PvP? I'm not sure. Maybe we'll find out later. Leveled up, level 2 now. With the help of Golmar, <clears throat> you have unlocked skill upgrade. Go to the skill panel to upgrade your skill level. Okay, so we can upgrade our skills. Tap upgrade now to power up your skill. Windblade. Okay, we're gonna upgrade Windblade. And now it does more damage. Cool. We can keep upgrading it. Oh no, we can't. Okay, so we have the required materials, but we need the higher level. Alright. That is fine. Let's continue our quest. Quick challenge to select a stage automatically. Quick challenge, okay. And now we're gonna fight a monster called Steel Jaw. What's kind of cool about this game is like, even though it's kind of like um, like a regular RPG, right? Like an action RPG, you can play with one hand. So like, if you don't have two hands available, for example, if you're, I don't know, uh, eating, you have like a hot dog in one hand or something like that. You can move your character and fight at the same time with just one hand, which is nice. Okay, we're gonna activate our special ability called Phantom Dance. Oh, that's dope. That that's that's dope. Okay. And right, this other ability here. It's like a it's like an area effect move. Okay. And let's do our first one. Oh, so that's like a lunge. Okay. Damn, alright. 
I know these enemies are weak, but I'm just like appreciating the animations right now. The animations look really crispy. Okay, so this boss is, you know, doing a little bit more damage to us, but <laughs> still took care of it with no issues. As you guys can see, I'm very good at video games. Uh, I've been known as a pro gamer. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> well, we got a mask. Let me just equip that. Oh, nice. Okay, so those things on the sides of our face, I don't think we had that before. So that must be the mask or the helmet. And I think that's it. Okay. Oh, we got pauldrons as well. So let's equip those. Very nice. Yo, this is like the basic armor, but it looks amazing, man. It, it looks freaking dope. I, I like how all these uh, characters have kind of like mech suits, I guess. Kind of like uh, like Iron Man, <laughs> I guess. Oh, is that a chest plate? I think we got to do chest plate as well. Yeah, Alliance armor. Yo, even equipping the armor has like its own unique animation. They put a lot of thought into this game, man. It, it, they, they, they put a lot of thought into like each little detail, every aspect. Um, What is this? Campaign 1-3. We're supposed to rescue the injured Uru. Uru. So I guess he's an ally. So let's challenge. And there are challenges for each stage. But obviously these ones are very, very basic. Auto battle has been unlocked. Please give it a try. Oh, we have auto battle too. Okay, I'm going to click that auto button. And now, if you're eating or doing whatever, you don't even need one hand. You literally just have to set auto battle, auto battle, auto battle, and uh, play hands free. That's not, that's nice too. You know, you have you have a lot of options. Like if you want to play, you know, hands on, you can use two hands, hold the phone, everything. That's that's up to you. And I'm sure for like harder bosses, for hard enemies. Like that is something that's required to you. but if you're facing like easier enemies or if you're you know farming a stage that you know you can beat easily that you don't have to waste your time like clicking buttons you can literally just click that one button hit auto and your character will just do its thing Okay, so we're fighting the evil god time traveler. But because I'm so good, I killed him instantly. <laughs> or or we at least uh, chased him away. Instantly. Thank you for the rescue. I'll repay you the favor. And fully voice acted. Have you guys noticed that? And I, okay, there there are some lines like like during the quest and stuff that's like not voice acted, but in stage, like in the actual Game stages, everything is voice acted, and also the uh, main girl who like leads us around, she's also fully voice acted. So that's also pretty impressive. You don't see this kind of like production um, level from most mobile games, at least in my experience. Oh, we have packs, interesting. You can claim this warrior growth pack. Nice. And, oh, this is like a login bonus. So for every day during the login bonus, like tomorrow I can get this uh, five-star epic necklace on day two, which seems kind of wild. And then on day three, we can get like, is that a pet? It looks like a pet <laughs> that follows us around. Okay. And then we got another chest here. We got more chest. We got developmental pack and steel soul chronicle weapon. Yo, that looks fire. Okay, well, either way. Can't get it today, but that's exciting. Quick challenge. Stage four, we're fighting this earth spider. Okay, let's go. And I'm gonna set it to auto still. See what my guy can do. If I start dying, then I'll take over. But it doesn't really look like he's having any issues, man. I think my guy's good. 
Uh, discover a spider web trap. The poisonous. Oh, well. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> I kind of missed it. I kind of missed it. Okay, so we're fighting the Earth Spider. And we are just absolutely annihilating him. And what is this? When did we get that? So apparently we have some kind of like ultimate finisher ability that I wasn't even aware of. And we just did it. That was sick. I don't know if we can maybe get like different kinds of finishing abilities or whatever but that that was dope all right side missions is available now level up your skills to win battles easily okay we got side quests now upgrade all oh so that's what the red crystals are for the red crystals are for upgrading our abilities so i'm gonna just upgrade as much as i can there you go or upgrade all upgrade all upgrade all upgrade all and oh okay so we can only upgrade up to level five because we are level five so you can upgrade your skills for or as high as your current level so if you're level five you can go up to level five if you're level 10 up to level 10 and so on and so forth right oh we already did that oh oh you know what? i haven't equipped this amulet that's probably why Is that like, yeah, that's what I thought. I was like, yo, we probably completed some kind of set or like just because we equipped all the armor, all the pieces now, we have a full armor set. And uh, yeah, look at that, man. That is the fully assembled Alliance set. Like, you can't tell me this game doesn't look great. The characters, the designs of the, the, the weapons and the armor itself and everything is, it's crispy. It's really, really crispy. We can get 10 diamonds for sharing right now, which I'm not going to do at the moment, but that is definitely an option. And we can complete this quest right now. With the help of Erkin, you have unlocked the set system. Go to the Ooh. set panel to activate your own set. Okay, so we're going to go to the set button here. Congrats, you have collected the entire set. Go activate them. Activate set. What does that mean exactly? Activate. Oh, okay, so now we get a set bonus for having the entire set. I see. I see, okay. Okay, this quest is called Dragon Threat. So, what that tells me is that we are fighting a dragon. Let's see if we fight any dragons. Oh, we got some diamonds. And, oh, I guess uh, we're not at the dragon yet, but we're fighting this Apostle. There we go. There's the dragon. Uh, his name is Dragok. <laughs> not the most creative name I've seen for a dragon, I'm not gonna lie, but <laughs> that's fine. That's fine. Let's fight Dragok. And uh, we're pretty strong now, man, so I think we should do okay against this guy. You know what, I'll take it off auto battle for the moment. Um, oh, we have to destroy this compound, or, or rather corrupted crystal, okay. So I'm going to take it off auto battle so we can experience it for ourselves a bit. There we go. Okay, wow, look at that. Yeah, we're pretty good. We're pretty strong. Now, these enemies are quite a bit harder than uh, what we faced in the previous stages. I told you before that we would meet again. All right, statue is almost dead, or crystal rather. And look at our HP, man. I think I had like 600 HP before, and now I have 10k. It must be, it must be the amulet or something like that. There's the dragon. There's the dragon. Dragok. <laughs> Alright, let's go, man. Let's go. I 
I think we can almost use our special here. So I'm going to pop that right now. Damn. 10k. And he's dead. There we go, guys. There we go. Absolutely wild. I love this guy, man. I love the samurai swords, the, the katanas. I love the look of the armor. I like my green hair. I like feeling like Zoro. It's a lot of fun. The horns of war are blowing. Go and defeat the powerful obsidian chief and get legendary gear. Finally, we got modes here. Okay, boss challenge. Uh, single player. Okay, go. Boss challenge solo play has been unlocked. Complete the challenge to receive legendary gear. Ah, uh, I see. Okay, so this is like a daily boss challenge you can do by yourself to get, you know, good equipment and gear and probably upgrade materials and stuff like that. So we got some kind of some kind of voodoo doctor mage guy, and we are on auto right now, as you can see. And it's free. And uh, he's just a little bit too weak for us. He's a little bit too weak for us, I gotta say. So we can probably do the next stage as well, unless there's a limit to how many you can do every day. Uh, we got a radiant mask. Nice. Is it better than mine, though? It looks better. It's epic. Mine's superior. Epic sounds better than superior. So I'm gonna have to equip that. Although, would I lose my set bonus? That's my concern. I might lose my set bonus. Okay. Uh, let me go to modes once again. And we have coin dungeon, arena, treasure hunt. Oh, I see. I see. Okay, so these modes are unlocked at a much higher level. Looks like for the Apex Gorilla. That, that sounds like... The mode that I want to try, like the Battle Royale mode. You need to be level 30, so we're actually quite a bit off from that. Okay, so we're fighting some big wood monster. Kind of like a Groot, I guess. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I'm going to let my guy auto-battle this one out to see how he does. We upgraded our, or refined our swords a couple times, but we're still taking our time. We're taking a while to kill these regular enemies. Uh, discover Strength Blessing. Greatly increases your attack for a period of time. Yeah, so as you can see, I'm on auto right now, but ideally you would be doing this manually because I'm taking quite a bit of damage and it's taking me a while to take these guys out. So you can't really just auto everything. And if I was playing this manually, I wouldn't have used my special there, right? Because you want to save it for the boss. So that was kind of a waste there. But yeah, the point is, you don't want to auto all the time. <laughs> you probably can't auto all the time. Once you get to the harder bosses, you, you, you will have to pick up your phone and uh, fight them manually until you get to like a certain level. Like this guy's taking me a while. It's, I'm not. I'm not just like cruising through him anymore. And I might die here, actually. Yo, I think I'm actually gonna die. We're about 30%. We have about 30% HP left. And he's only down about one health bar. This special will help. This ultimate attack will help. But I'm still pretty concerned. It's gonna be close. It's gonna be close. Come on. Come on. Boss about to enter haste status. What does that mean? <sighs> Yo, that was close. <laughs> that was close, man. We almost didn't make it. We almost didn't make it. Like, I, I was nervous there for a second. But, you know what? From now on, I think in the later stages, we will have to start manually playing the game. You can't just get lazy and try to auto every single thing as it just doesn't work anymore. 
And, uh, yeah, I'm going to keep going with this game, guys. Um, I don't think we're going to be able to get to the Battle Royale aspect today. But I think you guys have seen enough to really get a good feel for this game, even without, you know, that mode, right? Um, it's definitely a very technically impressive uh, mobile game. Arguably the most technically impressive game on my phone I've ever played. And that's including all the gotchas. That's including, you know, some of the single player games like uh, uh, The World Ends With You or some of the Final Fantasy games or uh, whatever you can name, right? Like as far as mobile games go, this is definitely one of the best looking ones. It's one of the smoothest ones. And uh, the music too, man. The music, I haven't mentioned yet, is is great. Every new section of the game has its own soundtrack. They're not super lazy with it where they like, you know, keep playing the same theme over and over again. So I guess my current impressions of this game right now would be, um, I'm gonna be playing it for a while. I'm gonna be playing it for a while. It's not one of those games I'm just gonna drop immediately after making a video or like a couple of days after, you know, like I did try to play the last game um, for about a week, but kind of fell off there, I'll be honest. But this one, this one I can see myself playing for, for a minute. And by a minute, I mean like some time, right? It's, it's an expression, it's an expression, not just one minute. Um, so yeah, there you have it guys. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Let me know in the comments what you guys think about what you see so far. And uh, definitely... Power of Starcore. Oh, what is this? Zodiac's function has been unlocked. Complete the campaign to accumulate star Zodiacs. Levels, which can be used to unlock Zodiac's bonus. Oh, interesting. We can use the stars we get from the, the campaign mode to unlock skill bonuses for our character. There you go. So we got some defense, some HP, uh, some normal attack, skill attack, and also some skill defense. And I guess the further you progress through the story, the stronger your character can get through these Zodiac bonuses. That's pretty dope. Okay, so I'm going to challenge this stage. Uh, the boss actually looks like the one we fought in that other, other mode. And uh, I'm going to let my guy do his thing on auto. I might actually die here, but... Either way, that's going to do it for the video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Um, definitely let me know what you guys think about what you've seen so far. You know, what your initial impressions are. My initial impressions, very positive. I love the look of the characters, the armor, the different weapons, the, the upgrading and everything. It's just totally down my alley, man, for sure. It's like one of those games that I can see myself getting very addicted to. It's definitely going to be probably a pretty huge time sink, but... I'm, I'm gonna die guys <laughs> I'm gonna die I need to upgrade my guy um, I've neglected that during this video because I was trying to go through like the different uh, stages and modes and stuff right but we need to spend some time and just grind I think on like an easier level but either way uh, oh what is this that's the boss that's the boss but uh, I'm gonna go enjoy this yo feel free to go check it out I'll put a link in my description for you guys to download the game to your devices we died and it's telling us to upgrade our skills because <laughs> we need it and um yeah big shout out and thank you to neocraft for sponsoring the channel like i said um i did not let the sponsorship affect my views or opinions on this game if i thought the game was bad i would just tell you the game is bad but I can't say that. <laughs> I really can't. It's really impressive, man. It's probably the most technically impressive mobile game I've ever played. And I don't think that is an exaggeration. So uh, yeah, that's gonna do it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully I get through the stage. If not, I'm gonna go grind for a bit and then kill this boss and then try out that battle royale mode a little bit later. Um, as always, if you guys liked today's video, make sure to like the damn video. Sub to the channel if you're new. Hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And you know what? I'm going to stay here for a second and see how my guy does. 
with the new upgrades. I think it did make a pretty big difference. By this point, like the last time, we were almost dead. So now we're actually, you know, close to full HP. We're taking his HP down at a decent pace. You know, still a little bit slower than I would like, but it's not bad. It's not bad. And if we take him down, or if we die, whichever comes first, that's where we will end the video. So let's hang out for a bit. But it does look like we're going to do this. It looks like we got this. And there you have it, guys. Stage clear. We out of here. Thank you so much once again for watching. Have an awesome, awesome day, guys. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.